Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Bowtie Media, and today we've got a brand new installment of This Week in EDM, where we go over, well, songs that came out this week in EDM, there were 23 of them, and this time it's a little different, rather than me just sharing my opinions. Uh, these were actually voted on when we did the new music stream that I did on Friday of this week. So this is voted on by a bunch of people, so this isn't just my opinion, this is a general consensus opinion on things. Let's hop into it. Uh, in the bad category, nothing in trash this week. We got some in bad. Uh, we've got Shock One featuring Bright Sparks, ready to go. Uh, this is just basic drum and bass. Um, consider considering what Shock One had done in the past, this is just really quite generic. I don't really understand uh, why this song is just as, I would say, boring as it is. Uh, just not a lot going on for it, so. And then we've got Steve Aoki and K's featuring John Martin, Won't Forget This Time. Uh, this is just a really generic commercial house, um, but not egregiously bad, I would say. This is just one of kind of the songs to exist. It's just, uh, yeah, it's just incredibly generic. Then we've got Subtronics and Whole Mind Pluck, which I am just now realizing in this moment. It's, I think this is a plan where it's supposed to be mind fuck. But um, yeah, this is a uh, this is a, a goofy track, I would say. Um, there's just uh, this is like fake out the song. Um, it's just a fake out after fake out after fake out before the drop. And sometimes they just come in and they don't even like. There's no build up to it. It's just really it's a weird song. Um, I just I feel like I just laugh at this thing the entire time. I I didn't quite understand it. Um, uh, quote from Deej, uh, Deej Master on this one uh, said it sounds like Lumpusketti. Uh, with more effort. It just sounds like Lupus Getty with more effort, and I think that's a great way to put it. Uh, then we've got Gareth Emery with Mistral. Uh, this song is a bit of a drag, I would say. It's got that kind of vintage European progressive trance vibe to it, but uh, didn't really have a whole lot going on for it, and um, that's why it's down here in bad. As we move into the meh category songs that, uh, as a group, we thought were uh, just meh, we've got uh, Pauline Her featuring Joe Garrett's Heartbreak. Um, this is a kind of a bouncy trap track, but I uh, didn't really love the effects on the vocals, particularly, uh, I would say that, but uh, this sounds like a kind of lost song or a lost cut from the Skrillex Don't Get Too Close album, which isn't necessarily a great thing. It's kind of got that uh, very commercial trap sound to it that's just a little bit underproduced, maybe, is the best way to put it, but... That's that. Then we've got Dactyl and Benny Ola's Safe. Uh, this is a very minimalistic track with kind of plucky synths. Uh, I think the vocals are a little bit dry, I would say, from Benny here, but uh, lots of unique sounds and elements sprinkled throughout. Um, very interesting track that still kind of keeps that darker tone that Dactyl's been doing as of late. But um, yeah, just uh, the least, I would say, um, uh, like fun song of the new kind of era from Dactyl. Then we got Whales in Cure 97, Big Room. Uh, this track pretty much just jumps into things right away. It's got a very syncopated beat to it that feels very off in some areas where it's just so, like it's just so like weird and not on. And yeah, there's really no transitions between the drops and the non-drop sections. Um, it's just, uh, just another kind of wild track. Um, and that's that. Then we've got Jai Wolf featuring Banks, Don't Look Down. This is pretty much your commercial synth wave track. Uh, very poppy with bright synths and like vocals, uh, light vocals, I should say. A very, um, yeah, a uh, touch generic, I'd say, more so than anything. Then surprisingly this high, we've got BB Rexa and David Guetta, One in a Million. Uh, this is very basic commercial house. That is that. It is not egregiously bad. It is not great. It's just like the most meh generic thing possible. Also, I'm starting to realize the phrase one in a million, that's like to say someone's one in a million, there's still like, there's 7 billion people. So isn't one in a million like still a lot of people? That's besides the point. Okay, um, <laughs> we're gonna move on to the next one. Uh, this is Swedish House Mafia, Ray of Solar. Uh, orchestral strings to kick this thing off, which is very fun and very Swedish House Mafia-esque. Uh, but this is an uplifting house track with, um, yeah, great mixing. Uh, the beats were a little bit more on the kind of drier, less uh, grandiose side of things. But um, yeah, it's not as big as, as Swedish House Mafia tracks have been in the past, just in terms of its uh, structure. So it was a good song, but meh, it was just meh. We've got Tokyo Machine featuring Dyson Automatic. Uh, jumpy and bright production from Tokyo Machine here. Probably his most commercial track to date, maybe other than last summer. I think last summer is probably number one, but um, this would be number two in the kind of more commercial side for Tokyo Machine while still sounding very Tokyo Machine-esque. 
love the scene and the kind of pseudo rapping kind of part bars from Dyson uh, that they dropped. So uh, yeah, fun, fun song. I would have put that in good personally. Uh, and then we've got Mango, Cloud Cage, and Matt Sky's Calling. Uh, given Monster Cat Silk some love here, which I don't normally give a ton on these reviews. But uh, yeah, I, I quite enjoyed this one personally. I would say this is another one that I would have put in good. Um, it's a very calming track, and I think Matt Sky's vocals are the best part of the song, hands down. So yeah, very fun. Then we're moving into the good category, songs that uh, as a group we thought were good. We've got Diesel and Jessica Audifried, uh, No Fear, the third single from the upcoming Diesel album, Guerrilla Warfare, is out. Um, and yeah, the uh, the second drop here was definitely the most unique of anything we'd heard from the Diesel project up to this point. Um, but I just, I think it maybe lacked a little bit of girth. It was a little flat. Um, but I was glad it's, I'm, I'm glad the whole thing isn't just kind of hardcore headbangers, um, that we, uh, have some more interesting sound design and structures as, uh, the last drop is sound very like speed house, I would say is the best way to put it. So, uh, it's, it's pretty fun. They've got No Taker's Unreal. Speaking of third singles, this is the other third single from an upcoming album from No Taker. Uh, this is Liquid Drum and Bass from No Taker, which is always a good uh, mix of No Taker and Drum and Bass. Uh, as one would assume with No Taker as well, it has that kind of space exploration tone to it or atmosphere uh, that makes you feel like you're on a mystical space travel journey, I guess is the best way to put it. So that's a fun one. Uh, then Feed Me, Love Control is up next. Uh, the Feed Me from the Clouds EP is out now, and this has got a bit of an old school progressive house vibe to it. Um, very ripe for a mousetrap uh, style track. Even though this EP is on Ophelia, uh, this very much sounds like uh, a mousetrap style song. Um, yeah, production was very joyous and epic. I do think the vocals were drowned out a little bit by the production, uh, but uh, he did play it fairly safe, and um, it's it's not too bad. Then we've got uh, Mr. VGWG's Teenage Bird Song, which is a four tet cover. And this is just kind of your flat, classic Fiji trip hop, um, fairly linear, as I believe the original song would have been, or just not as um, up and down as some tracks tend to be sometimes. But uh, yeah, just a basic, solid, good Fiji track. We've got Former Heroes, Kindness in Spite of It All, a longer five-minute track here, which is, um, despite being five minutes, it is, it is still fairly linear, um, but with one kind of constant baseline beat to it over and over again that's very reminiscent of like a side trance would be. It's got all the kind of classic elements of a Former Hero track in it with its intro and outro and everything in between, um, but with a kind of just doom, 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 kind of all throughout that's um, was definitely interesting. So, yeah. Then we're moving into Standout, uh, and I'm not sure if it's just because the streams are back and people were happy, or what it was, or if we actually had an incredible week, but we have six songs in Standout this week. Um, six songs. And to be fair, some of these are great. I would I would put a bunch of these in Standout, I would say. But uh, huge week. Uh, but we've got Grabbits featuring BB No Money with Ticking Away. The Valorant kind of theme song is here, or I don't know actually what they're doing. I don't follow Valorant. But uh, yeah, this is, an, uh, this is an alternative dance anthem for that game in particular. But uh, yeah, lots of fun, like, like choir elements. There's crowd cheering, huge energy. Uh, BB No Money's bar is actually pretty solid. The rapping verse is, is quite good, even though I don't love BB No Money for the most part. Uh, Gravitz's vocals are top notch as always, and the kind of ticking clock sound elements throughout is uh, it's a great through line in this track. So great song. Then we've got Sharks, Skybreak, and Paper Skies with Trinite, the Sharks VIP of Trinite here. Um, this is uh, someone coined in the comments here, uh, color and bass. So a mixture of color bass and drum and bass. So color and bass is pretty much what this song is. Um, yeah, high tempo as one would get with drum and bass, uh, but with very intricately placed melody sections all throughout, especially in the first drop. There's very intentional moments for each kind of um, synth pattern and lick there. But uh, on the uh, second one, it gets a lot more grimy and uh, kind of replaces the more wet kind of sound design that Sharks is known for uh, with a kind of just constant rumble and growl. So uh, yeah, pretty solid track. I enjoyed that one quite a bit. Then we've got Imanu and the Glitch Mob with Dream Sequence. You've got your kind of classic dark tones from Imanu here. Um, you've got your kind of iconic analog, more sounds from the Glitch Mob. And together it is very gritty and dark and uh, hella thick, I would say. Uh, it's got a quite industrial sound design, again, with more deep growls on this track as well. And uh, you can hear a lot of both artists in this collab uh, the way it should be. So, yeah. 
Then we've got Topi and Have with Full Speed. Uh, chaotic, mechanized sound design, as one would get with Topi. This is Topi's return to Monster Cat in a little bit. Um, always top notch from him. Uh, the first drop is pretty much pure chaos, and the second is a little bit more straightforward, uh, but both going hard in their own ways as my light goes out a little bit, so the lighting will have just changed. Um, but yeah, uh, pretty, pretty solid track. I'm not a huge Topi fan, and I actually enjoyed this one quite a bit. So uh, yeah, enjoyed it. Then our penultimate track of the week is Grant featuring Will J with High Enough. This is essentially kind of Dead Man Walking 2. Um, originally with Ellis is what I'm talking about for the last track from 2022. But um, yeah, lots of funk elements. Uh, Will J's energetic vocals uh, are a great through line again through this track um, and mix it with a lot of Grant's iconic kind of future bass sound design and mixing. So uh, big love for this track. I would put this number one. But we have another track that is beat everything out and it is... Uh, oh man, I forgot how to say this. Uh, Upadan, Opadan. I'm just gonna say that because I forgot how to say it. And uh, Camouflage featuring Shima uh, with Simi. Uh, this is a vibe of a kind of garage house track, kind of mix of the two. Um, more subtle, but it does pack a punch when it kind of comes and brings in the energy, but uh, it remains quite uh, like soft, but still kind of hits you in all the right places, I would say. Um, yeah, it's a, it has a fun little switch up of a piano ballad at the end to finish the track off too. And it's just a, just a really unique, um, track. I would say that is, that is great for the kind of club atmosphere and is hopefully a, a new direction for, um, more kind of club festival music that I'm really enjoying. So, um, yeah, that has been this week in EDM. Let me know what you think of any and all songs in the comment section below. But other than that, I'm Bowtie Media and I will see you guys in another video.